It's been a long time since the Honor 20 Pro was first announced and finally we got a chance to test it out. So right here, I've already used the Honor 20 Pro for about 2 weeks and we are here to tell you our usage experience of the Honor 20 Pro. Let's get the specs out of the way first. So the core specs of the Honor 20 Pro is actually very similar with the Honor 20 which we reviewed some time ago. I'll leave the link somewhere at the top right corner right there. And with it comes the Kirin 980 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage with no micro SD card support. And with it comes a larger 4000mAh battery and it still comes with that 22.5W fast charging right in the box here. So, one of the main differences between this and the Honor 20 that we reviewed previously is the quad camera setup behind. So this time around you have 4 usable cameras, you get a 48 megapixel main shooter, a telephoto camera and also an ultra wide together with that 2 megapixel macro camera right there. We also took a lot of pictures with this phone and we can tell you that the algorithm behind this thing is, well, not perfect. It does need a bit of work as we will show you with this slew of images right there. The first thing that I realized is the lack of contrast and the color punch that comes with usual smartphone cameras. So the colors are a bit bland which is just dull to look at. So we took these images and applied our own exposure levels on these images and then you can see that the colors really turn out a lot better, at least to my eyes. So all of these pictures are actually taken with the AI turned off. Why did I do that? It's because the images, if you do turn on the AI mode and take some pictures, it does look a bit more over sharpened. The colors are oversaturated and the brightness is just way too high. So I would suggest you to turn it off and then use something like Lightroom or Snapseed to further tune your pictures. The Honor 20 Pro also comes with the aperture of 1.4 for its main shooter right here, which is surprisingly good for night shots. So you don't have to hold as long as you would need to to take night shots. And that is a really good thing. But the camera that piqued my interest the most is of course the macro camera. So yeah, this is one of the first smartphones, if not the first smartphone to actually have a dedicated macro camera. It is only 2 megapixels and with a focal length of 4 centimeters. And I do wish that the software would provide you some sort of assistance in terms of getting your subject in focus. For example, just giving me some sort of uh, peak focus and show me bands of where the object is focused would help a lot. Then comes the video side of things with the Honor 20 Pro. The first limitation here is that you can only shoot at 4K 30fps without any sort of stabilization or you can shoot at 1080p 60fps with EIS plus OIS enabled. So Honor actually invited us to Sunway Lagoon and have a day of fun there. And we say that it's a day of fun because it is a theme park after all but of course the first thing that we do there is to capture videos using the Honor 20 Pro. So. What happened is that we will pass this tripod and to mount this phone on this tripod and to hold it onto whatever rides that we were on. So of course I have a quick video montage of every ride that we went on so have a look. Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 
So in terms of video quality, anything that we said about the picture quality does apply to the video as well uh, in terms of the contrast and also the punchiness of the colors. So the one thing that I want to say is that the Honor 20 Pro actually manages to stabilize the video very very nicely in 1080p 60fps of course and uh, well apologies for any sort of uh, shaky or I don't know where I'm shooting type of videos because I'm in fear and I have to take the tripod like this and I have to grab the right whatever anchor points and just you know not try not to move and try not to shake my hands but yeah the phone actually does a very good job in stabilizing the shot and we also did some other extra things like walking around the animal park and then captured some videos of parrots and people making cotton candy so yeah and it was a very hot day at Sunway Lagoon so the cotton candy actually melted which is the first time I've heard such things. So the two issues that I have with the Honor 20 Pro is this. The first thing is of course the software. Firstly the camera UI is just really clunky and to select the macro mode I have to go to the more modes on, on the far right side of the menu and then to select macro mode. So yeah, that's tedious and did you know there's also something called 48 megapixel AI ultra clarity mode? A mouthful of a name and it's also very very hidden in the settings menu. And then my second complaint for the Honor 20 Pro is well a very particular scene in the video that you can see right here which the exposure changes from really dim and it just magically change from one exposure value to another within just one frame. So I think that's really jarring and well, there's some software tweaking to be done right there. And overall, I don't think there's anything else that I want to complain about the Honor 20 Pro. It's a really competent phone for photography and also videography. And of course, you're only locked down to 4K 30fps right there. But uh, hey, if you're shooting at 1080p 60 with really good stabilization, then why not? So as of now, the Honor 20 Pro is still without a price and if we do know the price before publishing this video, it will be here. And yeah, the Honor 20 Pro does take beautiful videos and pictures and with it comes a very high performing flagship chipset, the Kirin 980, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoy this quick little unusual review because this is again very similar to the Honor 20 which again the link is down in the description below if you want to have a look at it and we will see you in the next video. Bye!